Today in Cruise Man's Garage, we're going to install a Super Brace Fork Stabilizer on this 2006 Yamaha FJR. The tools needed for this job are a 5mm hex wrench, a 5mm hex socket, a 6mm hex socket, a ratchet, a torque wrench, a rubber mallet and a punch, and some tin snips. Before we start, make sure you have the correct super brace for your year and make and model of motorcycle. It's also a good idea to install the optional fork protectors. Place your bike on the center stand and make sure the front wheel is facing straight ahead. If your FJR is equipped with these plastic fork protectors, these will need to be removed before we can install the super brace. Now, the easiest way we found to do this is by using a small punch with a rubber mallet and you, you basically get right under that plastic lip and hit upward and it will eventually come loose as shown here. Once the port protectors are loose, you can now use a pair of tin snips to just cut through the small plastic ring and then once that's done, you can then of course remove it from around the fork tube. At the bottom of each front fork are two axle pinch bolts. You'll need to loosen these using a 6mm Allen socket. Go ahead and disassemble the super brace by removing the four 5mm hex bolts. Once the bolts are removed, you can separate the two halves of the super brace. Now is a good time to install the fork protectors on the super brace. These will help to protect your fork tubes from rocks and debris and prevent damage. Locate the two small holes on top of the fork brace and use the Phillips screws provided to install as shown. Now we're ready to install the super brace. Begin with the front half and make sure that the machined groove on the inside of the super brace fits into place on the front forks as shown. When installing the back half of the super brace, you may have to turn it sideways to get it past the hoses and cables and just carefully position it behind the front half of the super brace as shown. Install the four 5mm bolts that hold the super brace together and hand tighten using a socket. Using a torque wrench, tighten each of these bolts to 10 foot pounds. The last step is to re-torque your front axle pinch bolts to factory specifications. 